though it's such a special day, how disappointing is it though the way it's all finished? It's disappointing. Um, you know, there's always going to be a winner and a loser. And I think the, the more disappointing thing is that we we certainly didn't do ourselves any justice in our performance today. And I think that's what hurts more. And I, obviously the players are in there in, in bits, in tears, and, and obviously some, you know, quite upset. But, but, but more so with the fact that they, this was their opportunity to show everybody what they've done this year. And, and we weren't, we didn't quite, we didn't quite reach the standards they've set themselves all season. And, and I think that's why it hurts so much. For 20 minutes, you were dominant. I mean, you could win two or three up. Yeah, and again, and that's but that's the way football goes. Is that you, you? We've had our chances. We didn't take them. I think if I go back to a couple of games ago, I spoke about us not being clinical enough, and we have we we have had this habit of letting teams back into the game, and we did that with a soft goal. Um, so it was a case of regrouping and getting back up to the tempo we were at in the second first half. Second half started. He couldn't have started any worse. Um, and then it just obviously then the lads try even harder, and the harder they try. This is the more disappointing it got. Yeah, there was that feeling that you know, no matter what you were doing, it just wasn't happening for you. Yeah, of course, and, and you know, and I, and I can understand that. I mean, I've, I've been there. I've, I've been in exactly that situation, and uh, and it's tough. And, and again, you look around the team, and you take out one or two of the older ones. They are still a young side, so everything that went on today, you know, um, they'd never, have, they would never have dealt with anything like that before. So, but like I said, I'm really proud of them. I think they've been fantastic this year, and uh, and obviously. You take away the score from today, you know, and, and today was more about a celebration. But obviously, the players I know and I am, you know, we're disappointed we couldn't give the fans even more to sing about. But, but it wasn't our day. Yeah, it shouldn't take away really from what's been an incredible 12 months. It's been a phenomenal 12 months. I mean, the target was always to get out of the league, which we achieved. And the cups were a bonus. A day out at Wembley was a bonus because we never, I didn't think we'd, we'd, we'd be ready for this yet. Um, but then when you get to the final, of course, you want to win it. Um, and it wasn't our day, and congratulations to Morpeth, because I thought they were excellent. When they got back into the game, they got it by the scruff of the next second half, and we, we just couldn't we just couldn't cope with the things they were throwing at us, and which is unusual for us, and, and to concede as many goals, we haven't conceded that many goals in a game for a long, long time. So so it was a bad day for us at the office, but it's been a fantastic year, you know, and, and they'll have hopefully a fantastic office party when we get back to Hereford and, and the people of Hereford should be proud of what they've done this year because for me they have put Herefordshire football back on the map and you can tell that from the fact you brought 19,000 plus fans here today a phenomenal sight like I just said in there apart from seeing my children being born I think today was probably certainly in football was my most proudest day of leading that group of players out in front of all them spectators and it's just a shame we couldn't quite give them what they really really wanted um, but I'm sure they'll go home thoroughly enjoying their day and, uh, and thoroughly enjoying the season brilliant thank you no worries,